Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Craft, and tonight is the season three premiere of Create Trains, or whatever I'm gonna call the series eventually. And we're building Porter. Now you might be saying, uh, Bobby, I thought you said you were never gonna build a CGI character. Well, you know, he's cool. We're gonna start with a triple axle. We're gonna go to the short 060 driver out of the extended bogeys mod. And we're gonna place it down. We want it to be backwards to start. We're gonna place down one copycat slab on the back and then three copycat slabs out the front. On that copycat slab, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're placing a, a stair the correct way here. So we're actually just going to place a second temporary slab and then place a stair on either side and remove that temporary slab. Place back our slab. Perfect. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to grab ourselves a copycat half layer. We're going to come in here and just crouch, click twice, click once, twice, once, twice, once, and then yeah, twice, once, like so. The next thing, or yeah, and we'll just repeat that on the other side. Perfect. We will then go ahead and place down a temporary panel on this back piece to place out another panel, which will be temporary. Crouch underneath it and place down another panel, and then remove your temporary panel. What we're doing is we're creating a back floor area for Porter. So you're then going to go ahead and just fill in the rest of those like so. And that'll be the base to your cap. Remo go back up to the front, remove a couple of blocks underneath these stairs, grab yourself a copycat step, face underneath it, like I just did, and place that step right there. Repeat the same process. Place a copycat panel on the outside of those, and there we go, Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Okay, the next thing that we want to do, is we're going to grab a black local metal smoke box, place that down right there. That'll be the face, if you will, of Porter. Grab yourself some industrial iron. Fill in everything with the industrial iron. You can use connecting um, or industrial iron that has connective textures. You can really do whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. This is your build. Do with it as you like. Fill in those two steps with cyan riveted local metal. The top of your piston covers, or what will be your piston covers, will be the cyan local metal as well, and then the bottoms will be the brass wrapped uh, cyan local metal. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and Grab ourselves some buffers and coupler. Let's place a buffer on either side, coupler in the middle. We'll come to the back, coupler in the middle, buffer on either side. I'm going to fill those in. I'm going to fill them in with the red smoke box from the local metal, but you can fill them in however you like.
There we go. We're gonna grab ourselves a copycat slice. On top of that copycat slice, we're gonna click it twice. And you're gonna fill it with the industrial iron support to give that little grill on the front of border. We do want a wrench. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. The next thing we're gonna do is just make the smokestack. Place down a coal burner, right click it to stop it from smoking. Place down an oil burner on top of that and then keep it smoking so that it goes ahead and is, it looks like Porter's smokestack that just goes up and curves out. The bell won't attach to the back of the smokestack, but that's okay. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on building the actual boiler shape now. I want to go ahead and just go spectator mode and just show you the inside here. So what we're going to want to do is place down a piece of black local metal, the whistle, and then the fluid tank. We're going to place a peak, uh, or piece of the riveted local metal on either side just there. It really does not matter what type of to use back here. I'm just going to stick with the riveted local metal just because oh, I guess you could do a couple of those. That makes sense. We're going to go ahead and grab a fluid tank and a whistle. Placing down our fluid tank in the middle whistle behind that. I don't know what um, Porter's whistle is supposed to be, whether it's high pitch, low pitch, whatever. So if you guys know what it is, remember you can right click the whistle to make it uh, low pitch, high pitch, or medium. I'm just going to keep it as medium for now. Grabbing back a hold of the copycat slab as well as the copycat half layer. We're going to come over in here and grab a hold of the cyan local metal as well as the yellow caution block. Place down the bottom portion of the boiler first. And then make sure to, on top of that, place the cyan local metal. And then you're going to keep the cyan in your offhand. And we're just going to build up this boiler now. So we'll place a strip of the cyan local metal all the way down the center. And just work up the boiler into the shape that you like best. The number length is just, or the number of times you click these down is entirely up to you. Whatever you think looks best. Just give yourself a nice curve and kind of just go from there. Place a couple of the iron support wedges on either side. This porter has these little shape things on the sides of him. No idea what you'd call them on the actual locomoto locomotive. So there you go. We're gonna grab a copycat step. Place a copycat step at the front of each of these blocks to give yourself a triple dome effect. And then you can finally place your bell right there. 
Next thing we're gonna do is start to build our cab. Let's grab a couple of different effects here first. We're gonna place down a couple of temporary blocks. Placing a half panel on the top here with the yellow brass wrapped local metal. And then we're going to run a riveted local metal and then a brass wrapped cyan local metal. Repeat that on this other side. We can get rid of our temporaries. Grab a copycat board. And we're going to place that board just like we've done on other builds. So we're grabbing the mangrove, gra mangrove glass that has that shape. I found that it best matches quarter. controls, one more board to kind of fill in that cab, making it look a little bit cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a copycat panel, copycat vertical slice, another board, and then copycat layer, oh, as well as a copycat slab. We're almost done. So we're going to go ahead and place down a copycat panel on the back of the seat to be able to place those other two. Once you have that panel placed in the middle, that's your temporary, you're going to go ahead and delete it and replace a copycat slab on the back there. So as you can see here, what we're doing is um, beginning the inside of the shape, or the inside of the cab here. So on the inside of these, we're going to place down another panel and remove those temporaries. Placing down more slabs on the back there. Taking our vertical slice and on top of the copycat panel, you'll place down that vertical slice and oh, you know what? Those are copycat layers. So you place down a, a, a level two layer and then a level two slice. Copycat step along the back there, and you can fill it with coal. Fill the back slabs with the riveted local metal. Fill the slices with the copper, or the brass uh, local metal, brass cyan local metal. And then we're just going to place down our roof that we've placed many, many times before. Two on the outsides and three in the middle. Grab yourself a copycat slice to even out that roof. Just give it a little bit more of a slope. And 
fill everything in with the deep slate tile or deep slate bricks. And then that's going to be your porter. As I've done in the past, I've added these vertical slices in the corners for some of my builds. So I wanted to keep up with that motif. That's just what signifies a different difference in my railroad kind of thing. We can go ahead and flip our bogey and we'll use a copycat ladder on the back side here. Again, fill it with whatever color you want. But this way, you're able to get up into Porter and be able to drive him and everything. Gluing will be the same for every small engine this season. So you can re always refer back to this guide. Check out any one of my other videos. Placing, making sure to place a block that connects to the actual structure in one corner as well as the other. You'll connect that glue or connect the, the vehicle with the glue and then assemble the train. You may have some issues with the bogies flipping. What you can do is just rotate it a couple of times. If that doesn't work, there is a trick that works sometimes for me and it should work sometimes for you too. Place down your bogey. You'll notice that it is placed backwards. What you'll do is you'll come up and you'll click it with an em right click it with an empty hand once. On the second time, you'll see nothing, but the bogey will rotate. And then one, two, three. Oh, in this case, four to get the bogey like that. Generally, it's just three, though. Let's try that one more time. It may not work, but sometimes this does. Uh, extended bogeys did just get updated to have the pistonless bogeys, so. It's possible that trick got fixed. So there we go. That. And yeah, it's it's gonna be painful. So leave your bogeys facing backwards. Then when you assemble, it'll automatically face forward. And there's how you build Porter. I figured it only makes sense. It only made sense to build him in the harbor. One, because we haven't built anybody in the harbor in a long time. And two, because he works in the harbor. So, that's what we're doing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you disliked the video, dislike the video. And stay tuned next week for when we continue forward with Season 3. Thanks everybody. Take care. Okay, love you, bye!